Right, another day, I've had a shave and I'm back outside, reinvigorated, ready to tackle the opposite side of the vehicle, so this is the right hand side, driver's side UK, and see whether I can get any progress on these nuts any better than I did on the other side, I suspect it's going to be just as much of a pain, but it's slowly and steadily, and then gradually working them off, and then in the end you can get the, um, the anti-roll bar bush out. So this side doesn't look really any better than the other side, in terms of it's corrosion if I can even get in there close up to the nuts uh, yeah looking pretty similar same kind of corrosion going on but um, there you go the actual brackets aren't too bad but uh, it's just getting those nuts out it takes a long time bolts even get me nuts and bolts confused and I yes yeah, problem with when you are aged and having chronic health condition to get your brain not working properly but there you go so we'll have a crack at those and see how we get on Right, I have a big problem because the bolt on this side, which you probably can't see on the camera, uh, is rounded off. I bought these kind of little nut remover, bolt remover things on Amazon, and I'll say if they're any good, I'll let you know. So this sort of pops over the top and gives you a little collar that should help uh, get a purchase on that. We'll see the tie is very, space is very tight, so I'm not sure whether putting that on is going to give me enough room to actually turn turn the bolt. But um, I'll give it a try. See what happens. <laughs> Pretty useless. Uh, there's not enough room. defeat but in this case I have not been able to get that nut off or bolt even oh, I can't say not bolt. Um, the problem is that it's just uh, the, the the head is not good enough on it uh, maybe suggestions and comments if anyone knows a way a technique I mean 
maybe you could undo the uh, body mount and lift the car body a little bit. Uh, not sure whether that's practical. I know that in the um, technical manual, manual for Land Rover, it does talk about that. If you had to take out the anti-roll bar, that you could remove the um, engine mount bolts and jack up the rear of the vehicle a little. I suppose if you had another inch of clearance, you'd be able to get a bolt a nut remover on there and um, get that off. But any suggestions would be very helpful. I'm slightly defeated and slightly disappointed. Uh, the other thing that I was trying were those um, the bolt remover things and as you can see it has sheared off, didn't really last more than like two turns and just sheared off, didn't work uh, so a bit disappointed in that so I can't, rem I can't really recommend these but I mean I'm sure they're good in certain maybe a situation where you've got direct access to it but other than that I can't recommend it so We've got one bush replaced, um, the other one's still to go, but I'll uh, have a think about it in the background and then come back to it at a later date. It's a, it's a few weeks after um, I got stuck trying to undo the, uh, the bolt on the driver's side for the anti-roll bar at the rear, anti-roll bar bush I'm trying to replace. Um, and I have purchased this kit uh, to see whether that will have any more success in removing the stubborn bolt. Um, so I kind of received it. It's quite a nice little kit. It's got a sort of a center punch thing in it that you can use. Uh, it's got some screw adapters. But what I really wanted was a 13mm uh, sort of nut extractor. So these are the nuts that came out the side that did work as you can see they're not brilliant but a lot of working on them so they did need replacing but they do fit into here and it's uh, it's hard to show with one hand but they've got a bit of um, a bit of give so I'm just hoping that these profile sockets that'll be able to get on to the um, bolt on the um, so it's the rearmost bolt that's rounded off get that on and hopefully that will allow us to remove it the old uh, so I did try I tried these thingies which are like um, a collar that goes over the top and the one that I used just instantly broke so they're a bit useless so I'm not sure I recommend them they're made by laser as well and the other approach I had was um, I've got these older, these style, and they're great if you've got a good purchase on the, the nut or bolt that's coming off, because if you can push them, sort of push them towards uh, what you're doing, they kind of, they bed on, but when you've got like really limited access, and just not got enough, um, sort of, I don't know what you call it, you can't put enough force on them to make them tighten down onto the head so it just just flies off but there you go so that's what I'm going to try shortly and hopefully this will be the thing that gets them off right this is awkward filming because I'm not sure how easy it is for me to get show you but I've got my um, uh, socket on here and I'm just going to see whether I can get it into a suitable place where it might get some purchase on this nut so it does it fits on nicely and I can feel I've got some torque against it so I'm just going to see it's not very good really for filming but whether I can just apply enough torque to it to get the to get the bolt to start undoing so it's definitely gripping <laughs> ah, but it's gripping and rotating, so it's actually not helping. Um, half wondering whether to try and go down a smaller size. I'm finding this so frustrating. I don't know how I'm going to get that out, and whether or not I'm ever going to get it out. Because if I can't grip onto it, it just won't come out. What do I do? 
back to the drawing board. Right, I don't know how easy that is to see, but what I've done is I have cut off the bottom of the difficult to undo bolt. The reason being is that it is the rust on the threads that creates the issue with undoing it. So I'm hoping that by cutting that off, I just give myself a little bit less um, force in order to undo the bolt. Uh, we'll see if it works. I'll show you the bit in a minute. Um, I'm hoping that this will just free it up. I know it looks a little bit damaged, but to be perfectly honest, I'm kind of getting to the end of my tether and I don't know what to do. It's driving me a bit mad and hopefully we will win and this little bastard won't. Right, so I've got the bit here that we've that I've cut off. Um, and if you look at one of the other bolts, Okay, it's not all of the rusted threads, but it is a few of them. So I'm hoping that it's kind of most rusty when you look at this one. Get in focus. It's most rusty at the bottom, where it's just blown out, really. I'm just hoping that taking this off will give it a little bit of extra um, ability to undo. There you go. We shall see. I'm going to go and have a play. Right, miracle of miracles, cutting off the bottom of that um, rusty bolt has seemed to make it easy. Randomly, after um, a lot of fannying about and um, trying to get it off with the bolt or nut extractor, it turned out that the 12mm socket uh, uh, flexi head wrench I've got here has started fitting on top, so it obviously got worn down enough for that, and that's got enough grip on it to undo this. And we're pretty much... I'm not having to apply hardly any force to it, pretty much there. And I think, if I'm lucky, it's going to just come out. Uh, look at that. Unfortunately, on this side, uh, the access isn't as good. So I won't be able to get to that bit of the bolt, uh, bolt and chop it off. See where I've chopped it off. So. The one that is really difficult to get out has now become easy to get out and the one on the back that was initially undoing is now being a stubborn, uh, I don't know what you call it, pain in the bottom and I'm going to have to see how much I can uh, do to get that off. So one victory, I've got one more to get off and then I can replace that and I've got new bolts and in theory I'll never have to touch the damn thing again. Right, where have I got to now? Okay, I've got this rear, rear uh, annoying nut. Uh, it's slowly coming out. I've put loads of stuff on it, heated it up a bit. Um, I've gone back to my uh, laser uh, nut remover because in this instance, that is not as damaged as the front one was. Um, and therefore it is um, undoing and gripping enough at the moment and it's not I'm spinning around. What I'm going to keep doing is going in and out, in and out, in and out, and every time it gets tight, I put it back in again. Every you know, then then pull it out, turn it out a bit, and I think it's just that very long process of in and out, in and out, and in the end, slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. So bear with me, and I'll probably come back at the end of this when it's about to actually come out. It's just very frustrating. Unfortunately, on this side, you can't get. You can't get under here because it's 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 boxed in. Uh, so the other side, cutting off, br worked brilliantly. But this side, you just got to be slow and keep going. After an awful lot of inning and outing, this has now got to the point where it can be. Oh, sorry, I'm holding the camera. So uh, can be done by hand, although I kind of need two hands to do it. So we have nearly defeated this one as well. So it was just a lot of inning and outing, lots of lubrication. Um, you can actually feel, if you put your finger under here, you can feel how much of the thread's gone in. Once it starts to go in properly into the uh, mounting, uh, the thread disappears in, and it then becomes the point where it's actually broken the rust enough to get it out. So, nearly there, and uh, like I said, the longest job in history, just to remove four bolts, two mounts, um, on something that's just old and rusty. Pain in the ass, but there you go. Such is Land Rover for you. 
and we are nearly there. Hooray! This is my victory nut removal. Bolt removal, rather. Look at that, the swine. It has come out. Two out. Hooray! Victory is mine. Screw you, Land Rover. Well, I'm just using a bit of this to help me reassemble the um, anti robot bush. I've put some in the middle of the thing and then it just helps it slide on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so that's the new bush in place. Um, I'm going to put some into the bracket, uh, some lubrication that will help it slide on. And then we're going to get these new bolts in there. I've actually bought some slightly different bolts that have got a 15mm head on them because I think if you've got to take them out again, um, just to get purchase on them, 15mm uh, just going to give me more options. Um, they weren't hard to tighten up and they're not a really high torque, you know, uh, they're only like 40 foot pounds or something or 45. Don't quote me on that, I'm just saying it off the top of my head, but it's not high torque to put them down they just got to be solid so that the whole thing doesn't wiggle around and there you go i'm just going to reassemble the um the mounting plate and then uh, i think we're pretty much done and i have not been defeated for once and there we have it finished nicely bolted down safe on either side it's hard to see because of the horrible light but there you go hallelujah I've beaten the rear anti-roll bar bushes. <sighs> now I need a rest.